Today, we're going to show you how to retrofit your existing flush mount location for a new Garmin GPS map 7x3, 9x3, or 12x3. For this process, you will need the new device, adapter bezel, and mounting hardware. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver and an appropriate cutting tool. First, we will want to remove the old device from its mounting location. Start by removing the trim pieces around the top and bottom of the display. Next, remove the hardware holding the device in. Put the screws in a safe location, as we will reuse these later. Then, pull the device away from the mounting location and unplug all of the cables connected to the device. Do not let these cables fall into the hole. Now, we will need to make some slots in the old mounting hole to allow for the new device to fit. Using the adapter piece and four screws from earlier, mount it over the existing hole. Mark the four or six slots. The hardware sizes are listed in the mounting template. You may need to make the hole a slot to fit the nut plate. Then remove the adapter piece and again save the four screws. Using an appropriate tool, cut out the 8 or 12 slots needed. Make sure to not damage any cables on the backside of the mounting location. Once the slots have been cut, we will reinstall the adapter piece onto the dash. Again, using the four screws that we saved from earlier, place the adapter plate over the existing mounting location, with the screws going into the outermost corner holes. Now, using the nut plate hardware and panhead screws included with the new device, secure the nut plates to the dash. These will go in the inner of the two slots. Make sure that these are tight. Then, take the new device and reconnect all of the cables that you disconnected earlier. Making sure not to pinch any cables, insert the device into the adapter plate. Using the included flathead screws, secure the device in place. Finally, snap the included adapter trim covers onto the top and bottom of the device. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.